Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV, and in this video I would like to show you how to flush a water heater without draining it. Now, I will not be going into a lot of details, I will not be elaborating on every single step, because I have another video where I show how to drain and flush a water heater, and in that video I go into a lot of detail into every single little step, and I explain the why and how as well. So if you want more information, check out that video after this one, and you will know both methods of how to flush a water heater. Okay, so flushing a water heater without draining it. All you will need is some kind of a hose to drain it with. I'm gonna be using just a plain old garden hose and potentially a flathead screwdriver. So all you gotta do is find the drain valve on the water heater, you hook up your hose, you route the other end to wherever you want the water to go, so a floor drain, a sump, a laundry tub, or outside your garden, wherever. And you open up the drain valve after you have your hose attached. You open up the drain valve, you leave it open for a couple of minutes, you then close the drain valve, take off the garden hose, and that's it. You have successfully flushed your water heater. So that's all there is to it. It's actually pretty simple. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just kidding. Allow me to actually demonstrate what I just said and show you how it's done. And along the way, I'll give you a few additional pointers. So anyways, the very first step you wanna do is of course, hook up your garden hose to the drain valve, which is typically gonna be located, not typically, always, gonna be located towards the bottom of your water heater. So hook that up nice and snug, like that. And then my other end, I'm actually going to bring over to my laundry tub. And in my laundry tub, I put a bucket just so the water can go in here and then overflow. I want to see what comes out. I want to see how crystal clear my water is coming out of the water heater. So I'll leave my hose in here for now. And let's go back to the water heater. Okay, so we got the hose hooked up. And before I go ahead and open up my drain valve, there is two things that I want to touch on. The first one is if your water temperature is set very hot. If you have it to like very hot, which is about 150, 160 degrees, just keep in mind that the water coming out will be scalding hot. Um, if it's too hot, then you might wanna actually drain some of that water out. So set your temperature setting way lower and then open up a hot water faucet anywhere in the house and leave it open for about five to 10 minutes to drain out some of that hot water before you start flushing the water heater. And the second thing is that sometimes when you open up the drain valve, either nothing comes out or the water comes out really slow. There's typically three reasons why that could happen. The first one, which is the most common, that maybe a piece of scale got loosened up and it blocked the whole drain valve port and that's why barely any water is coming out. Oftentimes, all it takes is actually blowing backwards into the hose with your mouth, just one breath, and that will be enough to free up that debris and have the water start gushing out. And reason two of three is if you have an old water heater, potentially you have so much sediment built up on the bottom of that water heater tank that it actually got up to the level of the drain valve and it's completely blocking it off. In that case, blowing backwards through it will not help you. In fact, if something like that is happening to you, it's better to just let sleeping dogs sleep, close that drain valve back up, and just don't flush your water heater and hopefully it'll live a long life, another five, 10 years at the very least. And number three is that the drain valve itself is bad. This is actually very rare. In the four years that I've been working on water heaters, I've only seen that once and that was a plastic one. But that does remind me, before you start monkeying with your drain valve at all, opening it and closing it, if you don't know where your water shutoff valve is for your water heater and for your whole house, I would go and check and find out where that is before you start messing with your water heater, just in case the off chance that there's a nightmare scenario and there's water coming out all over the place, it's nice to at least shut your water heater off so there's no more water going into the water heater. The city pressure going into the water heater is 60 PSI, so if you have a leak, as that water is coming out, that city pressure is pushing the water, more water, right back into your water heater tank and it's like an endless leak. The pipe that is the cold water supply going to the water heater attaches to a dip tube that goes pretty much almost to the bottom of the water heater tank. And when that water is coming in, when we open up this drain valve, 
That water is coming out at about 60 PSI like I mentioned, and that is what's going to be stirring up all the loose debris on the bottom of the tank and flushing it out. So that is all I wanted to talk about before we start, and now let's go ahead and open up our drain valve and let the flushing commence. Okay, so I shut my drain valve back off. It's been on for about a minute or two, and the water started out coming out pretty murky and disgusting, but pretty soon it cleared up and it was just that white, whitish water, which is just hot water with a little bit of scale debris in it. After that, it kind of stopped being dirty, so I just turned it off. So that is how you flush the water heater with the water on. I don't think as much stuff comes out when you do it this way. I mean, there's still stuff that gushes out. Some dirt and debris that's loose on the bottom of the tank does come out. But really the best way probably is to actually drain the water heater all the way down. And if you're really feeling good, you could even take like a short hose. And after you have the water heater drained out, you can pour some vinegar in there backwards so it flows in and let the vinegar stay in there for a couple of hours to disintegrate some of that scale buildup and sediment buildup on the bottom of the tank and then turn the water back on and let it kind of flush itself out like that and then turn the drain valve off. But doing it this way also works, flushing it with the water on. Anything that's loose on the bottom of the tank usually will get flushed right out. Well guys, and that is it. This time for real. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and mash the like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, allow me to share with you the power of M&M food coloring.